Hey guys, this is Sagara, Sangara, and um, since I've become, I guess, famous in UPSB for using this trick, or being good at this trick, um, I've decided to make a tutorial on the, sp the spider spin. So, um, the spider spin was invented by Cam, and it was named for the way that the pen spins on top of the fingers, and that's like Spider-Man shooting his web. So, um, basically, uh, I guess just, um, for background knowledge, uh, the actual trick, the spider spin, is the motion of the pen spinning here. Um, doing the, that, the thumb around to the, uh, to the spider spin is, is a hybrid of the thumb around and the spider spin, so, um, and basically it's been coming to known that any trick on spinning on top of the fingers has been known as a spider spin style trick or I think sometimes a uh, side spin. So um, let's get started then. Uh, oh yeah, oh, I forgot to put it in this will be a two part tutorial. This first part will be the actual tutorial of the trick and then the next one will be stuff I've been working on which I would like to call spider spin theory of uh, using spider spins in a practical way because it seems like no one has actually been able to do that. So, here we go. For doing the hybrid of the thumb around, or thumb spin, actually, um, to the spider spin trick, um, basically you're gonna, I, I, you should, I suggest using, um, we're starting out, I suggest using uh, T2, so, your thumb and middle finger. So middle finger is going to be your pushing finger, like a normal thumb around. And what's going to happen is you're going to do your thumb around. So you're, gonna, you're doing your thumb around. And then about right here, this is the uh, one of the key points of the trick in coming into the spider spin, is that you get to here, and you have to turn your hand and basically build up a reflex to go like that. Um, since I've been practicing it for so long, it's become an automatic reflex for me, and um, it's hard to explain how to learn that, but I will go into that. Um, <coughs> building up your reflex in turning your hand, um, I suggest getting a heavy pen. Um, well, this is a heavy pen for me, it's just like no tipped, uh, comp stuff. Uh, uh, a heavy you know, a nice pen you're kinda used to spinning with. Um, anyway, so this is this is the exercise that um, I personally used to learn the spider spin because there wasn't any tutorial. I mean, it's possible to learn without a tutorial, obviously, but... Okay, <laughs> sorry. This is the actual thing that I used. Um, I didn't start out learning like that. I started out by doing my whole fist and just letting it spin. This allows you to build up a reflex of instantly after the thumb round just making a fist, turning it sideways and letting the pen spin. Um, I suggest not even trying to catch it at this stage. Once you feel comfortable with you know, getting the pen spinning on the top of your hand or your fingers, I should say, um, that's when I say you should move on. Personally, I can't tell you when you're ready to do... I can't tell you when you're ready to um, move on. It's just a, a comfort level. You have to find out. Um, I would say it c includes consistency and um, abili like a, the ability to like adjust your hand while the pen's spinning. Um, I... I say that um, adjusting your hand while the pen's spinning, um, that just means you, it, it just, it's a subconscious thing where you're, you're tracking the pen with your, with your eyes and your uh, hand. Okay, so once you've gotten comfortable with going like that, and just, I did this constantly for about a week. I really did, like, um, it's, it's not, it's not really that hard, it just took me a while to build up you know, the reflex. Um, and then the next step I took 
was building up a reflex of just getting my um, index finger out of the way. So that looked like this. And so I was going like that. And I wasn't really paying attention to my pinky, but I knew that I was going to have to make it so it actually looked like a spider spin. Um, so you just, you gotta, once you get used to spinning on top of whichever finger you, um, like, well, it should spin, you know, right there. I mean, <laughs> it's just, once you get to here, um, the pinky comes naturally, actually. Um, you can make it really pronounced, or you could, I mean, I used to do this for forever, where I didn't even, I, like, kept my pinky curled in, but, um, <clears throat> I think that's really all you need to know. Um, it's just, there's a lot of practice for this trick. A lot of practice for this trick. I, it took me about three weeks to fully understand how to execute it, and I'm still working on my consistency. Like, I still have a lot of trouble catching where I want to catch it, and that's something I will go over in my next video of Spider Spin Theory.